You know, when I was uh, in my 20s, I, a couple of friends had been assaulted, um, one at gunpoint and the other one forced to watch. And like anybody, you know, you're not, that isn't in your realm of, of knowing what to do or what, you know, being able to even think about it. And about the same time that happened, I met the director of the Rape Victim Advocacy Program. And I was looking for some way, something to do, some, you know, along with trying to understand. Carla Miller began volunteering for RVAP in 1977 and became the director in 1981, before going back to school to get her PhD from the University of Iowa in 1991. And, I, and I'll tell you, one of the biggest reasons for me to pursue more education was uh, a client in particular that I worked with for a long time and I wanted to be able to be more helpful. Carla came back to direct the Rape Victims Advocacy Program in 2002. RVAP helps victims of all types of sexual assault, including abuse, harassment, and domestic violence. They hold numerous events during April, which is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. The Clothesline Project is one event in which victims of sexual assault, dating violence, and even LGBT hate crime can create a shirt to be hung for others to see on the University of Iowa's Pentacrest. Clothesline Project really says, you know, just gives a voice, because a lot of times in our culture, in our society, these are things that we don't talk about. You know, if someone has experienced sexual assault, well, it's better, you know, if they just don't talk about it. A lot of people don't feel safe talking about it. So Clothesline Project gives survivors an opportunity to, to speak out and say, no, this is what happened to me. RVAP also plays a part in Take Back the Night, an international rally to speak out against sexual violence. I spoke at a Take Back the Night rally, which we have every year, and um, it was at a time when a man had killed a number of women in Canada. And, um, and I spoke about that, and it was in the, reported in the DI in 12 1289. Um, and I received this shortly after that, and it, it's written to me, but I think it could just as easily have been written to any advocate. Um, it says to Carla Miller, I hope you don't mind if I write this anonymously. Thank you for being a strong woman and for doing what you do. I read what you said in the DI in 121289 at the vigil for the killed women. I wanted to go to the vigil, but deep down I am terrified to stand up to them and say no more. So it means a lot to me to see you stand up to them and speak for me. I'm getting stronger, slowly but we all do need you to say it out loud. It helps so much. Thank you again for speaking out. RVAP also provides a 24-hour crisis line, counseling, medical and legal advice, and support groups. But one very important aspect of what they do is education to prevent sexual violence. What is really, really empowering to me is doing prevention work. Working with, with victims and survivors is, is very powerful, but eventually, you know, I don't want to have a job anymore in that I don't want to have to do that. I want that to stop. I want people to stop hurting other people. If you or someone you know needs help, call the Iowa Sexual Abuse Hotline at 1-800-284-7821.